been a while since I've been on here. It is, I believe it's June 1st today. And so I decided I would come outside and do a little garden tour, a little garden update for you. Um, just a reminder, we live in North Texas and we had some pretty extreme like weather in May. I would consider it extreme. On Mother's Day, it was like 100 degrees. So it was extremely hot. And um, I think I mentioned in my last video that I actually have been dealing with some soil issues in my raised bed garden. And so I will talk about that. Um, I took out a lot of plants already. I took out all my onions. Some of my onions bulbed and looked pretty good. Um, I could actually probably show you that later in the video. And, but they were tiny. And then some of them didn't do a whole lot. And so those ones, I am just going to dehydrate and I'm gonna save it as like dehydrated green onions and then separate the, the bulb part and do some onion powder. So I am thankful that I get to have a little bit of an onion harvest and it wasn't a total waste. When I first was pulling up my onions, I was just super disappointed. It was like, this is a waste, but um, I ended up pulling up the rest and I got a good amount of bulbs that I can actually save for storage. So that is good. Um, I will start here behind me. You can see I have some corn. Um, this is just a separate area. I kind of have like three garden spaces going on. So I will show you that. Uh, right here is my second round of corn that I planted. Um, it gets a little bit shaded out so that you can tell this corner here isn't as tall. Um, let me flip this but camera. This side is looking great. We ended up putting some bamboo um just to kind of help stand them up we've been getting some pretty good wind storms too and so they just kept falling over we just put some string in between to kind of help stand them up but these are looking really good i'm hopeful for a decent harvest this year um you can see some of my watermelons down here um they don't get a whole lot of sun quite yet but i figure once these um corn come out then these watermelons can fill out the space so they'll look really good i do have a few little watermelons on them too i you can see this plant in the back over there and that one has a few little watermelons i'm pretty sure this one has started getting a few little tiny melons so that is exciting i i believe this is uh i think that's actually probably a cucumber because it does not look like a pumpkin the leaves don't look as big as a pumpkin um, this was one of my onion beds. I just finished pulling all of the onions out except for these ones. I am letting go to seed. <laughs> my rooster is talking a lot today. Um, and I just threw in some pumpkin seeds in here. So these have germinated. They just popped up and this area will fill out with pumpkins. These are some of my random tomatoes um, that I planted. They were actually some of my tomato plants that looked pretty sick not sick they were just pretty puny is what I meant to say and so we um, planted them here just to see what would happen and they are doing good um, over here I have some of my zinnias planted they did okay my germination was kind of spotty um, you can tell that I planted them in rows and some of them just didn't germinate too good or the seeds moved so they are starting to take off i'm really excited i have some blooms on here i need to pinch them off here soon but that will look super beautiful i have some sunflower seeds that i kind of threw in here to help fill out the space and then of course some more pumpkins so this area will look really great in a little bit and like i said once that corn comes out then um the watermelon will be spreading out and i'll add some more sunflower seeds and different things like we that. we have been loving um all the flowers that we have going on here i'm disappointed to tell you that this area was looking great i had a pumpkin all the way here to the top and it was super lush and beautiful and these sunflowers were starting to do good um, but a deer came and chewed up a bunch of the tops, but it looks like that one's growing back. You can see here, totally ate this plant. And this one, you can just see, it just chomped all of it off. <laughs> um, I'm leaving this because it's still growing. Um, I don't know if it's gonna last. You can see it got bent up here. Um, but if it, it looks good 
so far. So I'm leaving it and we will see what happens. I also threw in a few more pumpkin seeds and I think I'm just gonna take these out um, because I don't think those ones are gonna do too much. And this side is doing pretty good and these sunflowers are growing. So it is looking okay. <laughs> and let's see here's my green stock so I, I haven't been super impressed with my nasturtiums this year but I also have some pepper plants in here and these were also my super puny um, pepper plants when I put them in they were tiny and they are doing great they really took off you can see all the blossoms on here and I am really impressed with how well that they're doing in the green stock over here is my daughter's bed. Like I mentioned, we've had really bad soil, um, especially in my daughter's bed. And this bed over here, I'll talk a little bit more about we've that. We've really here been trying to focus on amending the soil and getting it healthier. Um, I've been fertilizing, I've done mushroom compost, I've done um, bone mill and what else have I done? Some fish emulsion. So I'm just really trying to work with my soil and what I have going on and i've also started to mulch um just a light mulch i've never done grass clippings before but i decided just to start with that this and is this just a super light layer of grass clippings and um, you don't want to do it super thick because it will get s slimy and not do so well but that is what i'm going to be doing and using for mulch on my beds and i do feel like it's helping um, here is my daughter's cucumbers they are finally taking off we have some puny looking ones that never really did anything, but I'm really excited because her bed was struggling a lot. And so this is just really awesome to see her cucumbers starting to grow um, up this makeshift bamboo trellis, which I could have done a better job, but it's working great. And you know what? It's held up to a lot of storms. Um, she has this tomatillo, which I need to get some support for it, but you can see she's starting to get some tomatillos on here. And I'm really excited about that. So I can make some roasted salsa. So hot out here. Um, we're supposed to be getting a little storm um, this afternoon and tonight and tomorrow. And so I didn't water my garden, but it's looking pretty good anyways. But these mosquitoes are driving me crazy. They're all over me. So um, anyways, that's my daughter's bed. She also has some strawberry plants that, you know, they're just not doing a whole lot. So her bed looks okay. It looks much, much better than it was looking, but definitely still working on her soil and just trying to get her bed a little See this beautiful sunflower that we have growing in her bed and another one here. And she's super excited about that. This is my son's sunflower that is growing. His bed has been doing really good. I ended up pulling out all of his um, snap peas. His snap they peas did amazing. Um, we ate so much off of them, so that was really good. But you can just see here, he has a bunch of cucumbers growing, a um, bunch of baby cucumbers on his plant, but nothing that we've been able to harvest quite yet. I'm hoping within the next week, we'll be able to um, harvest some cucumbers and his strawberries have been doing okay. I stuck some sunflowers in here that are starting to pop up. Um, his tomatillo plant is doing good as well. So I'm super excited for some salsa verde this year. Um, and then his carrots, we got to pull those up soon. And what else does he have going on? I think he has like a random sweet potato in here. And yeah, you can see a random sweet potato. And I also tucked in some Armenian cucumbers and also um, some, some swan The reason gourd. why I'm doing Armenian cucumbers, um, Armenian melons, I guess I think that's what they're actually called, is because they are supposed to do really well in heat. And they're really cool because if you harvest them young, then you can eat them like a cucumber. But if you let them grow big, then you can harvest them like a melon. And so um, I'm really excited about that because these cucumbers are gonna start to um, not do so well come end of June, July. And so I'm hoping that these Armenians will end up doing really good and I'll still be able to harvest cucumbers until I 
plant my fall crop of cucumbers. So now you can see behind me, this is our little in-ground garden that we got started. Um, you can see behind me over here, um, we are gonna turn all of this space into garden space as well. I'm hoping in this area here, these are just some of the logs of the trees that we've cut down. And I'm hoping that I can square this off a little bit, maybe make it into just a really long rectangular bed and plant some fall potatoes in there. I'll talk about my potatoes that I did earlier. We harvested them, we got less than 10 pounds of potatoes, so it was not a great yield for our family. So I definitely want to do more um, potatoes this and fall. In here we have some sweet potatoes here and in here, this was just like a random squash plant that we had already planted before my husband stuck these sweet potato slips in. Um, some random sunflowers on the edges, a watermelon. Um, these watermelons are looking pretty puny. I added some more seeds in here, so we will see if those start taking off. Um, like I said, we're supposed to get rain, so I didn't water these seedlings, but maybe I should have. Um, and then some more cucumbers. And these are all my pumpkins. And my pumpkins are looking really, really good. So I'm just hoping these deer stay away. But you like can just do like an arbor or something too. And do like some pretty roses or something like that as an entrance to that back area. But I'm not sure quite yet what we're gonna do. So I should just probably wait on that. But I'm super excited about having pomegranates. They should do well out here. Um, and the great thing about pomegranates is once they get going, you can really propagate them and I'll just put them all over the place. Um, anyways, here is my elderberry. They're looking really good. I have five elderberry plants and I'm super impressed with how much growth that they've had this year. Um, let me, this area is really overgrown. I keep coming in and weeding it. Um, but I also have some of my blackberries and they're doing pretty good. It looks like that one's almost ready. Okay, um, so now we come to the arches. Let's see. This bed is actually doing so, so much better. It is looking really good and it's starting to climb and I just love that. But let me start over here. You, you can notice here, if you watch my last video, I had these filled with potatoes all the way down. So we harvested those and we got about um, 10 pounds of potatoes. So not a huge yield, but a lot of my were rotten. And when I went to plant my potatoes, I had just gotten my seed potatoes from a local nursery and I didn't check the bag, which I should have. And when I got home, a lot of the seed potatoes didn't have a lot of eyes. And if they did, they were just super tiny. Um, and I planted them anyways, thinking like maybe that they would still take off, but they really struggled and a lot of my potatoes rotted. So, um, the potatoes that did produce did amazing, but I just didn't get as high of a yield as I was hoping for. And so definitely going to be doing more potatoes, um, in the fall. And so I did go ahead and I planted some cantaloupes in this bed. I'm just kind of trying out these grow bags and seeing how they do. Um, this one has some sweet potatoes in it. Um, I had some extra slips and so we just stuck those in there. So they seem to be doing okay. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, and now I'm not quite sure what this bed looked like in the last video because I do know I tore out some plants, but here is my okra. And then here is some zinnias that I actually just bought at a nursery today actually and planted. Um, this is a squash. I don't really remember what is what at this point. Um, I'll know once I start getting flowers. So here's some squash. This bed, like I mentioned, has been really struggling. I have replanted this bed what feels like a hundred times. Everything in it has just really struggled. You can see here, um, I stuck in some more seeds. I believe those are cantaloupes. Um, here's a cucumber and just everything has really struggled. I had originally had this whole area planted with bean plants and they just did not do good. Here's some of the ones that I left in cause they looked okay, but I don't think they're gonna do too much. 
So I ended up sticking in some more pepper plants from the local nursery. There are some Anaheim chilies. So I have three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve of those. Another okra I stuck in. And then just a few flower plants that I'll, ev I'll eventually move outside of the bed. Because um, these are perennials. And they'll just take over. They'll get pretty big. And then on this side here you can see my corn. Um kind of experimenting with how corn does in a garden bed. And so it's looking pretty good to me so far. This is a random sweet potato slip that my husband just stuck in. So we'll see how that, that goes. Um, and then some squash. I think this is actually gonna be butternut squash. Um, these were some of my runner beans that I had planted a while back. And a lot of them just didn't do anything like i said we had that like really really hot weather in may and i think it just made a lot of my plants struggle but it's cooled down a little bit and so things are starting to perk up i have some marigolds tucked in here um this is some acorn squash which is doing good some more squash over here this plant honestly is just doing amazing you can just see how much fruit, I need to pick this one off, um, I have on here. It's just doing incredible. This is all one plant here. And I could even tuck this in. So it's actually taller than me now. So that is looking really beautiful. And honestly, when you're doing arched trellises, like that's the whole point is to have just some beautiful fruit hanging over top you. And it just adds a lot of visual interest. So I love it. Um, this is an acorn squash down here that is doing pretty good. Um, and then over here is some of my cucumbers and this poor marigold that just got trampled on and died. So <laughs> this just got overgrown. Um, but you can see here, these are some of my cucumber plants and they are looking good. They are starting to grow and really take off. Um, I added some Armenian cucumber seedlings in here as well. So hopefully by the time these stop producing, these will be big enough and I'll start getting some Armenian cucumbers. Um, on this side here, I don't think I talked about this side. Um, I have some, I think they're t some snake beans, some Thai snake beans, I believe. And so these are supposed to do really good in the heat. So I'm hoping that these will take off and they'll be really pretty. My kids will love those. And then these are just some squash, I think maybe some butternut or spaghetti squash as well. And I'm just sticking in, you can see, I just keep throwing seedlings in here or seeds in here. On this side, here's some of my pepper plants. They're doing good. I, I believe all of these ones here are just some yellow peppers, sweet banana peppers, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what all of these are. So some, some of them are looking kind of puny. Some of them are starting to take off. Um, and then of course this plant, this squash plant is overtaking this side. And then I have some, I believe these are gonna be some type of peppers. This is why I always say you should label your plants. But this should start producing here soon. You can see I'm getting a few little peppers on it. And then back here, I believe this is some yellow squash that is just starting to grow and of course the corn this is my tomato bed and it is doing pretty good i wouldn't say it's going to be my best tomato harvest here but it's doing okay and you can see i have some marigolds tucked in here on the side um, i tried to grow some zinnias in the middle and only a few of them are doing okay they're probably too shaded hey mesa <laughs> um, here I have some of my Romas and I've been able, these are the only thing that I've been harvesting off of so far. So I have these plants doing pretty good. Um, they're actually doing really good. You can see here, I've been getting a decent amount of fruit. They're just not super big, but it's been doing pretty good. And then all of these are just starting to flower now. I'm not really sure what they are. I'll have to wait to see when they come. I actually did a video, um, just my own bookkeeping. And so I need to refer back to that video and see what tomatoes are what. I do know I have some 
like sunrise like cherry tomatoes and I have Brad's Atomic Grapes. I think I have um, some brandy wines and I believe I have some black beauties. Wanna say hi? <laughs> and so you can see here that these tomatoes are just barely starting to set some flowers and we'll start setting some fruit. Started to mulch around these with some grass clippings as well. But you can see here, I've been pruning off the bottoms here. You really don't want your leaves to touch the soil because that's just how you get some fungal diseases and your, your plants can really just not do so well. But you can see here, I have some fruit on here. Here um, is my sweet potato bed. Um, they're doing okay. This area was where I planted my squash. It never took off. Um, so I've just kind of just forgot about this section here, but... Here's my sweet potatoes. I'm hoping that these will do good. Like I said, this area does not get enough light. Um, it's pretty shaded back here. So I'm hoping that they'll still do the okay. But thing, we um, I think I've mentioned this on my video, but right now we, we're, we don't water this area. This was used to be grass and weeds. <laughs> And so we are just mowing it for now, but eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna have pea gravel in here. Um, and so we're not worried about this area with the traffic and stuff, but you can see, let's see, back here behind me, behind this bed, let's see, right over there, um, I am going to be doing two new beds. I'm going to do a lavender section um, and I'm going to do a chamomile section and I'm hoping just to make this whole back area um, kind of like my herb, like a potage, potage herb garden because um, eventually we're going to have some seating back here, probably going to do some flagstone and like a little fire pit and make it real beautiful and a good area where you can come and relax. We have a ton of snakes here and so really we haven't spent too much time just sitting here because with the grass and everything overgrown it's like you constantly feel like a spider on you or you think that there's going to be like a snake or something so we haven't done that yet but I am excited to kind of do some like kind of like in-ground slash raised beds out of rock um, similar to my herb beds here with just like one specific herb. And I think that'll just help for me too, because you can see this one is doing really good here. I have some parsley, I have some oregano. Um, this is my cilantro that went to seed. I have some yarrow, um, a bunch of different things in here and it's in really good, but I think I want to have certain beds designated to, designated to just certain herbs and so, that will be a project we will be working on here in the future. I'm so excited for when this area gets done because it'll be nice just to sit here and look out into the garden. It'll be really beautiful. Now, we were just at the sweet potato bed. Right across from it, we have my asparagus bed, but I went ahead and added some cucumbers. These are all from seed, so you can just tell. Um, these were planted like forever after some of those ones in that bed and that bed you can just tell is really struggling um but these are doing pretty good you can see i had some deer damage on these as well um on this part here we have some some little bush beans going on and i have some swiss chard if you're in a hot climate swiss chard and you like salads is um swiss chard is a great one to plant because it is pretty um heat tolerant so i have some more chard in here some baby chard coming up here and some of my lettuces that are doing okay and then over here i have some leeks um in my previous video i said i was gonna pull them out but they started to take off so i am excited that i will have some leeks probably not as much as i thought i was gonna get you can see like some of them are still pretty stunted, but some of the other ones are doing good. And I love a good potato leek soup. And over here, this is my asparagus side of the bed. Um, it's doing pretty good. You really don't harvest asparagus until year three, but you can see here I have another baby one popping up. And so 
I'm excited. It seems like it's doing pretty good. And then over here, um, oh, this was the bed that had all of my broccolis and everything like that in it. I can show you here at the start of my bed. This was a tomato plant I had bought. I had actually bought three tomato plants from a nursery and the other ones got blight. So I ripped those out and I replaced it with the zucchini. And so this zucchini plant is doing amazing. You can just see how big these leaves are. I have um, a few zucchinis on here and I'm really excited about this. Zucchini is always so fun because they just look super beautiful. And then a marigold, that one's shaded out. So I might try to move that one and see if, if it does better. And then over here, I have more cucumbers. If you can't tell, we love cucumbers. I'm hoping to do a lot of pickling. This was some of my collard greens. You can see how much damage I have on this. Um, I think I have flea beetles and possibly some caterpillars. I don't know. Yep, you can see I have some caterpillars. But I was going to rip it out, although collard greens are supposed to do good in the heat. But I decided to leave it and I will harvest what I can and just let the bugs attack this plant rather than everything else because it seems like the bugs are leaving the rest of my plants alone and they're just kind of going after this. So I'm leaving it. I do hand pick my bugs and that's what's happening over there. This used to be my broccolis in the last video and I planted some squash in here. And then over here I planted some beans and then I have some okra and it's starting to rain on us. <laughs> My son is so sweet. He just likes to be with me, huh bud? And he's so good. He's just sitting there quietly. Um, this is my blueberry bushes. I'm gonna move these to get more sun, um, probably over here or near these beds over here. And so now on this side here, I have some bush beans here. You can see I've been harvesting a little bit, but it hasn't, I haven't gotten a whole lot from it yet. And then I think these are just, um, what are they, gumfrinas. And then right here I have a lupa. Oh gosh, it's starting to come, starting to come down a little bit. Some good sized raindrops. So I hope you guys can hear me. I'll probably have to go in in a little bit, but this feels good, huh? <laughs> Okay, um, these were some of my purple pole beans. I love purple pole beans. Um, I just should have planted them sooner and more sun. And now with like the heat, it just scorched them. So pole beans and bush beans honestly don't do really good in the heat. Then over here, I have some more beans planted. Um, these are also some of my dried beans. I think these are some, some type of white bean and those will just stay there until fall as well and then i will um take those out and just or let them dry on the plant and then i'll have some dried beans i've never done dried beans before and so i'm just gonna see how i like them and how the yield is like and then next year i can always do more if i like it here is my other tomatillo plant it is just doing amazing so excited I have two of them here they're kind of intermingling because I don't have them trellised or anything like that which I definitely should because they are just spreading out like crazy here are some of my pepper plants I don't know if this is I want to say that this is going to be bell peppers but um we shall see oh look at that little buggy um but we'll see like I said I didn't um, mark them and I'm super impressed because I grew these all from seed and the in past years I, they just haven't done my pepper plants have never done so well so I'm excited about that here's my artichokes I'm excited for these to start taking off um, I tucked in some sunflowers and then a marigold and nasturtium and then in here is some more okra that I actually forgot I planted, but it's starting to do good. So I'm excited. This bed will be really pretty and it'll have some height to it. And this is my old chamomile got taken out. And here's um, this other one that I had planted by seed. And that one's starting to do pretty good. Here is some more of my pepper plants. And these are finally starting to take off. You can see here I have... Um, a bell pepper on here and just covered in Coming down. You can't even tell in this video, but is it raining pretty good? Yes. 
<laughs> it is raining pretty good over here. So um, we're kind of covered under these trees and stuff, so it's not so bad, but let's let's get on with this garden. The rain, so this just makes me so happy. But here are some more of my um, snake beans. You can see them starting to climb. Um, I also added some swan gourds in here, literally just today. So maybe when these tucker out, then the swan gourds will be doing better. I added some, I forget what variety, but I added some lettuce seeds in here. They don't seem to be doing super great. Um, I was just hoping to get more lettuce because besides my little area over there, I just don't have a bunch of greens and I love a good salad. So. A cucumber, some more cucumbers here. Um, I tucked in some zinnias that way. This area will just be really beautiful. I added some more squash. Um, I forget what it's called. It's like a scalloped, um, like a green heirloom scalloped squash. They're really cute and pretty. And I love to have squash roasted um, on a salad and do like a Mediterranean salad um, or have it grilled. And so I just added those in there. And then over here, I have some, um, I think that some bell peppers, some purple like bell peppers, black beauty bell peppers maybe, that's what it's called. And then some more zinnias tucked in here. So this area is going to be really beautiful and in just probably another month or so. So that'll be exciting to see. Thank you so much for joining me today um, on my June garden tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like watching garden videos. So make